The Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS, was established in 1975 to foster economic growth and regional integration of the 15 member states. But the economic goal is yet to be achieved because the intra-regional trade has been grappling between 12 to 15 percent, which is quite low. Through the Trade Facilitation West Africa program, TFWA, 23 journalists from the five Anglophone countries in the ECOWAS region were exposed to the realities of trade challenges to be addressed for transformation and the purpose of boosting livelihoods of citizens, especially women. Um, your opinion is usually 70%, in Asia is over 60%. So we need to really do more to trade, not only amongst with others in the global trading system, but also amongst ourselves. As tariffs and duties go down, and in fact, any product that is made in West Africa should actually be able to transit freely within West Africa without customs or duties, and that's why we are a free trade area. But we also find there are blockages to the movement of goods. Um, you'll find a number of obstacles, a number of barriers as you go from one country to another. During the five days training, journalists were schooled on several trade and economic related issues hindering the region and how they can advocate for positive societal change. The lead facilitator pointed out that the media must be active, knowledgeable about economic and trade treaties, protocols and other instruments critical to their advocacy on ECOWAS economic factors impeding free movement of goods and services within the region. Trade and economic issues are areas that people really talk about, really know, really discover. If you are coming into this particular school, you must be analytical in your arts. Dig deep. Work with figures. Evidence-based advocacy as an advocate. The TFWA program, which benefited the media practitioners, is said to be a multi-donor funded initiative by EU, Germany and USA among others. It is co-implemented by GIZ and World Bank, the GIZ Head of Components Trade Facilitation West Africa. Bernard Tayo encouraged the reporters to build on the existing trade conventions and put out credible, factual and balanced economic reports. Now you will be reporting um, from a position of knowledge, right? And uh, the Trade Facilitation West Africa project is very proud to be part of that process standing by the ECOWAS Commission in this wonderful initiative. For ECOWAS region to meaningfully contribute to the global economy, the media must serve as an active advocacy group that will prompt the action of governments to prioritize intra-African trade. The participants committed to practicalizing the knowledge gained to help achieve the economic change anticipated by ECOWAS. The biggest takeoff for me from this training is the fact that we need to do more to project the trade aspect, trade and economic aspect of these uh, companies. The training was climaxed with distribution of certificates to the journalists. Salifujar Nakamura, AWEVA News, Lagos, Nigeria.